TV bringing you some Stoke City news. Now since the last video of the news we've got for you is basically just a bunch of transfer rumours. Uh, the first one is James Chester. Chester was very integral in Villa's season, um, very closely missing out on the playoffs and he played every single league minute for the club. Uh, he's very highly thought of from manager Steve Bruce and I think it's going to take quite a considerable fee to take him away from Villa Park. Unfortunately for us, uh, Villa won't be letting him go very easily considering Chris Sambit and John Terry, the only two senior centre-backs they did have, have left this season. Now according to the Daily Mirror, we're also in for another striker. After we've just signed Ben Kofobe, we're also in for Dwight Gale. Same sort of player I think, um, based on his experience in the Championship, he's a proven goal scorer in that league. Although him nor Kofobe have done it in the Premier League as such, I think Dwight Gale could be a huge sign for us. Now based on the strikers that we've had in the Stoke shirt for the past few seasons, None of them really have been out and out goal scorers. Very few of our strikers have come close to 15 goals, some barely making 10 a season. So as we look at Gale and we look at Afobe, I think we should look you know, very confidently at the season ahead. We are also linked with another striker and that's Sheffield Wednesday's Forestieri. Uh, now according to sources at Sheffield Wednesday, um, they are looking to cut their wage bill and it's believed that Forestieri is sort of a huge chunk of that wage bill. Assuming that the Dwight Gale deal does fall through, um, Forestieri, he's had 66 starts for the club, 32 goals, so a very good return. Same again with Dwight, uh, Dwight Gale and Afobe, you know, very proven goal scorer in that league. And should we bring in Gale or Forestieri or both? I doubt we would bring in both. Um, goals are looking very likely for the season ahead. Our options that wise sort of up in the air right now. Uh, we don't know what's going on with Chippo. We're assuming that Shaq's going to be leaving. Ramadan's already gone. So I think, well, depending on the formation that Rowett wants to put together, our wingers are looking very short at the moment. We are now linked with Junior Hoylet from Cardiff City, who was a very integral part of their promotion push this year. Uh, the 28-year-old is out of contract at the end of the month, so it's very likely that we could get him on a free. And if you do remember, we were linked with him uh, back in the Pulis era. Um, very, very highly thought of player. Very proven, uh, had a good stint at QPR and again he was the player's player of the year for Cardiff this year was very integral in getting them promoted. Neil Warnock has made comments, um, the Cardiff boss and said that they have made an improved offer on his contract. They desperately want to keep him um, but it's very likely that he might make the move away from Cardiff. In Rowett's most recent interview he's definitely put his foot down on his approach to the next season. Uh, with the players coming in full pre-season he said that he's going to take no nonsense from any of the players, uh, those who might have a chip on their shoulders. Um, players who sort of come to mind when thinking about that are the players like Shaqiri, Chip Emoting, obviously Hesse's gone, but that sort of player who sort of thinks they are bigger than what they are. Um, Robert's basically come out and said that he won't be taking any of that nonsense and he only wants players in the squad who are going to essentially put in the work and drive for promotion. And Robert's a very established manager in the Championship. He seems to know how to work the championship, how to operate, how to set up a team. He's done very well with the clubs he's been at. Um, on that basis, I think the approach he's taking and all the things he is saying in his interviews are very, very encouraging. It's sort of the stuff we want to hear. Now, last night we did get our first taste of a Tebo. Nigerian was playing centre mid against Croatia and for a young 22-year-old in his first World Cup, he did himself a lot of justice, I think. Uh, despite the own goal, which he could do nothing about, he seemed like a very positive player. Um, picking the ball up from deep in midfield, a lot of driving runs, um, a lot of positive play um, and I think based on that performance obviously we can't judge that too much. It seems like we might have a very good player on our hands and a very young player which is encouraging for the future as well. And that's all we've got for today's video so please as always like, comment, subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you think of the proposed signs that we might be bringing in, Forestieri, Hoylett, Gale and James Chester. And until next time, thank you.